Sakka, Satya Prakash, spokesperson of the Congress Party, joining us. Satya Prakash, I want to come to you first. Uh, D.K. Shiv Kumar has been quoted as saying, "There is a condition: you should all vote for D.K. Suresh, and then your O.C. certificates will be handed out. This is a mutual agreement. I also have the right to ask, as I work for you." He also has been quoted as saying that. You assure me that you will vote for me, and within two three months your demands will be cleared. Otherwise, do not come to me asking for it. Now, I don't know whether to call this a bribe or whether to call this a threat. This is both. Shivani, you need to understand one thing very clearly. Our KPCC president D K Shukmar has been targeted by the two leaders from Gujarat on a continuous basis. This is a doctored video. Not the entire video has been put. What happened was Mr. D K Shukumar for the last six months has been fighting like a lion. He has roared like a lion. The B J P, the R S S, Mr. Modi and Amit Shah has tried to cage him in T R J, but he has raised like a phoenix. He has brought Karnataka to power in the state. And now in these coming elections, while all the national media and all the opinion polls are suggesting three to five seats for uh, Congress, clearly uh, we are winning more than 20 to 22 seats. And this Bangalore suburban has been a very prestigious seat. Where JDS and BJP together are fighting the DK brothers. What Mr. Shukuma said was, as he is the minister for uh, water resources, yes. minister for urban development. Uh, sorry, urban development and especially Bangalore. When he went there as part of his campaign, the residents brought up some civic issues. These are all normal issues: drinking water problem, in uh, occupancy certificate, and all these. All this comes under his uh, ministry, the Bangalore Development uh, yeah, Authority. Yeah, and he is holding that as a weapon. Yes, I come back to you, Satya Prakash. Let me quote another aspect of the video. I have already quoted three separate portions. He says, uh, "You want a civic amenity, a site handed over to you, and supply of Kaveri water. If I get these done, what will you give me? What is that?" See, you need to understand two things. Then Modi comes here and tells, "I give you a good thing." Then who vote to do? My Tumar got a good thing. Do now. What is that? Then is it luring the voters? Mm. In a democracy, everyone has a right. What they are going to do once they come to power, and and assuring the people that they are going to solve their problems and asking for votes is not a sin. We will solve your problems. That But he'll solve them post-election. The One second, he'll solve them post-election. Even yes, though the central, the state yes, government can continue yes, to yes, work, yes, and yes, Bangalore yes, water problems have been happening for the last two months, but he'll solve them post elections, and only if they vote for DKC Suresh, right? No, no, what? No, no. What he said was, please understand, there are two issues. Hmm. Asking for vote, this is campaign time. In another ten days, this this particular conscience is going to vote. That is a right of Mr. D K Shukumar to ask votes for his party and for his brother. There is nothing wrong in it. That is on one side. Second thing is these people raise some issues that they have problems. As a sincere politician, as a Bangalore minister in charge and part of the government, he is a deputy chief minister. He has said that as soon as the elections are over, I am going to do my best to solve your problem. You have enough faith on me. I am a lion. I will fight these people. Modi will not solve your problem. Respond? Modi has scared me in TRJ. I am going to Ashwin, solve your problem. You solve? Modi will not solve your problem. How, how, how do you respond to that? Do you am personally aware of how much water is currently being pumped, especially to R R Nagar, Bengaluru South, and Anekal areas. Satya Prakash, this is not just going to the public and saying I will work for you. This is basically threatening them. That listen, I have the power. If you don't vote for me, and I have seen your booth results from the past. Then I am not going to give you anything. Please understand, you know, uh, Gupta Ji. Please understand that he is the water resource minister. Yes, that so is that the problem. Allow, allow me to speak. No, allow me to speak. Since, since he is the water resource minister, he can bring Kaveri water to Bangalore. That is what he said. And he is the minister for Bangalore also. That means BWSSP which supplies water is under him. So he will make efforts. Is it a sin for the deputy chief minister and Congress president to to solve people's problems? That means in an election, we no. I am quoting him. Problems. Sorry, you are being very nice and conveniently forgetting that he is linking it to votes to D K Suresh. Again, I no, quote: no, 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 "Till no, the property no, 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 is handed no, over, you will not get O C. But there is a condition: you all should vote for D K Suresh. This is our mutual agreement." No. See, there are two aspects: asking for votes. This is election time. 
we have to go to people to ask for votes. That is different. When we went to ask for votes, people told their problems. It is his duty also to assure them that once the elections are over, we will. But as a minister, a should he be seen as problems. saying that you do this and then I will do this? As a minister, should he be no, seen saying a, this? When there is a model, when, when there is an MCC violation, I will tell you. If we had immediately told that I am doing it on the spot. Then there is an MCC violation. Okay. He can do any violation. He Lakshmi Ashwin, final 30 seconds. Notice. I'm going to see a post-election. The Congress doesn't feel there's any...